Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913 and let's play Breath of Fire 3. In the last episode, we began our mission to get sushi. But as I said in this episode, we're going to be like Danny Glover and Joe Pesci and we're going fishing. Yeah, that's right. So I decided to start from the northern checkpoint and we're going to go through... We're gonna go through the whole fishing thing and I'm gonna tell you what fish are there, what not. I'm gonna try to catch them. Over here you can catch a, I think it was a bear bee or something like that. Brandy or something. But I can't catch it because I don't have the right, I don't have the good rod yet. So let's go to the next area. This is south of Daruna Mines. And yeah, I would have had this episode uploaded, um, Sunday, but it didn't record. Okay, so over here is a fish that we can get. We haven't caught yet. The Good fish lady. is a red catfish. So what we need is a frog. And let's equip the frog. It doesn't matter which one you have, as long as you have one. Because they like it. They really like it. This might be it. Yeah, so I recorded this episode already. But sadly, uh, like I said, I don't know what was going on. Perhaps didn't record it or something. It recorded my desktop, but not the game. I had this whole Mother's Day spiel I was talking about. Now it's not even worth mentioning. And this guy is being kicked. And you can get the red catfish here. Yay! Now where are you going? Back here. Will you get back here? Yay! Red catfish. Use these in battle and you can get yourself a... You can get earthquake. You can do an earthquake. Which is pretty cool. Now on to the next fishing area. Also... Let's check on the fairy village. Yes, let's use it. Yay for fairies! So let's see if they grew. Oh, look at that. They grew by two. Chow and Jaluk. Jaluk! Alright, so... Let's see what we need to do with these fairies. These fairies that suck. Ooh, Chow's a good hunter. Let's put her there. And Jaluk is also a good hunter, but I'll make her do this. Now, let since we have a scholar, they basically think of new jobs and new cultures. But you can also they think of new jobs. And now you can have a merchant or an inn right now. And with the merchant, you can have three different things. As you can see, weapons, items, and handyman. And whenever you click on one of them, they'll ask you what you want to specialize in. Speed or ability. So, ah, uh, speed, sure. You can always change it if you want. But just like in Breath of Fire 2, there was a girl that you could recruit in the beginning of the game. Once you started your whole township thing. And she showed some terrible, terrible... Seriously? Hello? Yeah. No, she's at some sort of retreat. Yeah, why? why? Alright. Alright. Bye. <coughs> Anyways, <coughs> she, in the beginning, that girl sold terrible things, and then at the end of the game, she actually sold some of the best stuff. That's kind of like what's going to happen here. As, uh, as more time passes, she'll get more and more things to sell. So, yippee skippy. Um, what's next? Alright, so uh, that's it for the 
Daruna Hills. Let's head down. And I don't think there's anything on the um, Ural region. Really only one. I think I got all of them here. One of the most popular fishing spots is full of big fish. Puffer, trout, black bass. I got them all. And then if you go through the Daruna Hills, but we're not, we're going to go to Ogre Valley. Ogre Road. Also, I picked up some more horseradish from Ogre Road, actually. So, yeah, I figured let's show you how to warp tent with emetized things, just in case you forgot. Yeah. So let's just go in Emmetai's house. Obviously there's no door locks. And if there were, Ray would get through them. Yay! Now this warps us back to Windia, if you remember. And now from here, we can warp anywhere. Um, we want to warp to the Ural region. But yeah, we can't go to uh, Relay Point B right now because it, um, I don't think it will let us. Or if we do go there, we can't like we can't leave the room we're in. So there's no reason to go there yet. Anyways, we're at the Ural region with that abandoned house just past this one mountain range that I hate. And I think I've already gotten all the McNeil thingy things here. I think I, be I believe I got them as a child. So let's head over to Central Windia. Because that's pretty nice. Mount Murnergamurger. I think I got all this fish here. Jellyfish, bass, and Martin squid, yeah. I got all those. Down here is the the mackerel, which I'll come back and get. Uh, what else do I need? Not enough there. Let's go this way. Yeah, I think I got all these. Yes. And if for some reason, if you actually remember, and you uh. You're looking for a certain fish and maybe I didn't catch it let me know cuz uh, I remember watching the necroscope 86 yeah necroscope 86 and he um like I don't know if I call it black porgy for you but I will eventually anyways I remember necroscope 86 he uh, caught all the fish in the game and I've actually never caught all the fish in the game there's three fish I've never caught <clears throat> whale Spear fish and some other fish. Some other famous fancy fish. And so, actually, fishing for certain things will actually get you some of the best equipment for Ryu, which is pretty nice. Uh, you can get them in an area that is infamously annoying, but there, but there's a. Uh, there's a certain way you have to go through that area, and it's a real pain in the ass. Or maybe it's not, depending if someone figured it out. And I'm not even going to bother using the ship, I'll just walk through this thing. Because there's something we can do while we're over here in Mount Zublo. But, uh, yeah, um... Hmm. Yeah, but th in order to get some of that good stuff, you gotta... You actually have to catch, like, all the best fish. And more than once, so... It could be, it could be a problem. So let's go see where what uh what Blue's up to. Hey Blue, what's happening? Well, well, what are you doing here? Did you miss me that much? Yes, we did. You mean there's something, someone who wants to learn from me? Okay, but only on one condition. You have to call me ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So now what I like to do is I like to have Ryu learn from her and she'll teach you some of the best spells in the game that Nina already has um, so 
really no point in making Nina learn it, although she does specialize in magic and strength and agility and AP. So also I'm going to give it to Momo because I want Momo to, uh, to get some good stuff too. Because basically what all the spells that I learn uh, from her, you have to actually go up I think 12 levels for this lady. So she's kind of, since she's a second to last master, she kind of, uh, she's kind of hard to learn all the stuff from. But Momo should have no problem since she's pretty low on the levels there. And um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so she she gives you some spells, which I like to give Momo, usually. Now over here is where the angler, what I call an angler and a black corgi. And a manalo. And I'll show how to get an angler later as well. Especially if I don't show how to do it now. And we have one over near Cliff. Octopus, angler, and I think that... The fish over here is a devil fish, which I can't catch at the moment either. I need one. There's another rod that we're gonna be getting pretty soon that's gonna be able to help us uh, help us get like some good stuff because it, it's like one of the farthest reaching ones there is. And over here we can also get devil fish, and I think. Uh, some other fish. Devil fish and swordfish. And then over here, which we've already been. Tide pool formed by the outer sea and the middle sea. This is where you can catch a bunch. There's a bunch of fish over here. Good place to catch a lot of different things. And a manalo. So let's go in and catch the manalo. And see what we can get from Get ready. Get ready. And then after this, I'll show you a thesis thing. Then we'll get some vinegar. Then we'll get some mackerel. And then we'll start on the sushi, hopefully. Also, I want to show you all the new equipment I got in between episodes. Like I said I was. And of course the man other wants to be caught. That's why. Well maybe he doesn't. Well let's look at some nice things that he has. He's actually got two really good spears for Gar here. And uh, some, some bait. Plus skill ink if you need it. I mean, eventually I might need it again, but not at the moment. Skill ink is good for monopolizing experience and all that. So let's go. Let's head back. So that's all the fishing areas on this continent. Except for one, I think we can get somewhere else. But let's go do that stupid mini game with Gar. Although it's not stupid, I won't, I won't say it's stupid. I just think that this part, hands down, second most annoying part in the game, at least for me. I don't know about other people if it was annoying for you, but I hated this part when I was a kid, when I was a youngin. Playing this game, I didn't understand what the hell they were talking about with the sushi thing and like all that mini game stuff or side game stuff, whatever you want to call it. Oh, lordy. Boop, doop, doop, doop. So let's go back to the coffee house. Alright, you're gonna let me camp. So let me show you the new gear that I got in between episodes. I did equip the coupon, so, uh, we're all good with that. Um, I saved some money. Anyways, let's look at our equipment. As you can see, now what would be better? Stats. As you can see, he's got the base lard, kite shield, platinum helmet, hammer, breastplate. Bleh, same thing. I should give him some accessories. What am I doing? 
And for her, she didn't really get much but the amber breastplate. I'll give Ray some accessories later. I don't think I got anything for Pico. So let's put Gar in the group. Yeah, basically I got amber breastplates and base lards. Kite shields and all that good stuff. So let's go get the damn vinegar. Because these minigames can be a pain. This one is. And what I like to do with this sushi minigame, basically, I like to collect... Now, this might be crazy, but I like to collect three times the ingredients. Reason being is because if you mess up once, you still have two more shots, you know what I mean? That's why I always like to collect at least three. Let's put Gar in the front. So, like, if you need three or one piece of fish, I usually catch three. So let's do this again. No. Whoops. Did I forget how to play? Anyways, I'll be right back. Alright. I just need to reread the rules. What the hell? I hit the triangle button. Usually this isn't as a pain as uh, as I'm making it look out to be. So let's try this again. No, you gotta hit triangle until it goes down. Yay, I did it! Woo! I did 10. It was 10 down and 10 up. So let's see how much vinegar we got. Have some vinegar. Yeah, if we ever need more, yippee! Let's see how much vinegar we got. Horseradish, see, I got 9. Vinegar, I got four. That should probably be enough. Whew. Ah. Yeah, it should be enough. I, I think with the vinegar and the horseradish, you don't use much. So, I think we're cool. Now let's go get some mackerel, and then we will be ready to make sushi. And isn't that going to be fun? Actually, in real life, uh... I've never had sushi. I think I mentioned this before, I'm not a fan of fish. Or raw fish, to be exact. But there is this place. There's this place um, that like $20 for all the sushi you can eat. Near uh, my house. Well, not really near my house, but in the city that I live in. Alright, I'm not sure. Get ready. Get ready. No, no, no. Put anything but the coin. Let's equip this thing and try to catch some mackerel. I don't know which one they are. You? Is it you? I think you are mackerel. Yay! Fall into my evil clutches. Very good. Very good. Now it's important you remember how big the mackerel is. That's actually going to come into play. Let's just grab one more. Come on, mackerel. I see you over there. Not you. You're not a mac. Are you a mackerel? You might be a mackerel. Yes, you are. Let's 
Oh, don't you try to run away. Get back here, fish. You will be dinner. Yay! Huzzah! Very great. 54, holy moly. All right, so let's catch one more. Look how far this one went. Yes. Don't even think about it, Mr. Fishy. You're fishy. Stop it. Stop it. You freaking stop it. Get back over here. Come and do my clutches. Yeah, I can't really say I've actually fished too much in real life either. Very good. I've done it a couple of times, but... Anyways, in the next episode, we will actually go and prepare the sushi for the mayor, which I probably might mess up quite a bit. So yeah, this has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.